We about the business. We about the business. We about the business. Now what is this? We about the business. We about the business. We about the business. All right, let me put this down, man. Let me show you what is about to happen today. In Spanish, that is oi. Okay, we are going to seek and destroy. It just happens to rhyme. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So today, this is called We Found Profitable Niches for Easy Sales Domination. Can y'all hear me? Put a hashtag, yes, Lord, in the chat if you can hear me so far, and we will get started. The tool that we will be using today to help us or assist us is ChatGPT and the other platform that we will be using to help us find profitable niches is called, uh, maybe you heard of it before, google.com. Why? Because Google has been here way before ChatGPT. So when you're doing keyword research or niche research, you're definitely going to need Google in a game, especially since you're trying to rank on Google itself with your articles which are platforms, your apps, your assets, and you're trying to get traffic from Google. So chat GPT can't do all of that. All right, so it is nine people on here, but I don't see nine likes yet. Do you guys hate me or something? Is it hate or something? What's going on? We got to spread the message. It is 11 people on here now. Take, up, take out your boxing gloves. Matter of fact, let's do this bare knuckle and then punch the heck up out that like button real quick, man. All right, pull out one of them cartoon hammers and then slam on that mug. You understand? Drop an anvil on that mug, right? So we about to get into it, man. And I, I need some class participation, guys. There is no cash in without action. And yes, I do got a lot of passion, if you can hear it. What's up, KFC Solutions? What's up, Marcus, bro? We got the Shaloms. I only see, it's 13 people on here, but I only see three Shaloms in the chat. Put the hashtag Shaloms or the hashtag Yes Laws to let me know that you can hear me. Can you hear me? All right. So now, guys, now, why is it very important to have a profitable niche? Okay. Um, well, it's, it's, it's way more important than just like the money aspect of everything. And we're going to go deeper into it. But guess what, man? A lot of people start their journey online and they just start with any product, you know what I'm saying, any service just so they can make some money. But the reason why I say profitable niches is because we want longevity. We want longevity and consistency. So we're going to try to find those niches right here. And longevity, meaning you're not going to be hopping all around. If you have a niche that's making you a little bit of money, but it ain't nothing too impressive, chances are you're going to be distracted by other niches. You're going to be distracted by other money-making opportunities and stuff like that. And we don't want the distraction, guys. We don't want the distraction. We need you uh, to be able to see things through. You got to be disciplined, okay? And you're not going to be able to do that if you're just making patty cake money. So yes, it's awesome that you guys are going to be able to make your first couple dollars online. That's awesome. But if it's not a very profitable niche and you're doing a lot of tedious tasks to make those dollars online, let's say that you get to $100 a day, but it took you uh, four to six hours or something like that to make that online. To a lot of newbies that never made any money online before, um, that might be impressive and you might be happy. Hey, at least I made a hundred dollars a day online. But when you're experiencing waking up to $10,000, $20,000 in a morning and you haven't even started your work day yet. For example, I, I, I woke up to thousands this morning and didn't even start the work day yet. The sun wasn't even up yet. So how do you find niches like that where they work overnight on autopilot People are always, it's always in demand. On top of that, like it can be high ticket or at least high volume to where the sales are coming in super fast. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, we need those type of niches. I talk to you guys about the product theme parks, uh, theme park products and stuff all the time. We got 19 people on here. What's up, everybody? Stop being antisocial and quiet. You know, this supposed to be a house party. 
not the new version. That one sucks. Okay. But uh we gotta we gotta work together, y'all. So get active. All right, so now let's see what Chat GPT suggests. <laughs> okay, give me a list of niches uh from uh let's see local local niches to offer my uh marketing services to make sure these are obscure niches that other advertising agencies uh wouldn't think of okay so i asked chat gpt we're gonna start with the base right here guys okay what's up chad joseph johnson what's going on broski what's up ardell he told y'all to hit that like button simon says well technically ardell says hit the like button obey no i'm just playing all right <laughs> we got camille leachman on here we got self-made he said all of what's going on family what's up sammy what's going on vitaly from france what's going on we international baby let me shut up because I just left the house and came back over here to this hotel, man. So I'm just trying to make sure everything going smooth for y'all, man. I'm spending money in these hotels just to make sure I got the tip top internet for y'all, right? So y'all can at least hit the, go ahead and put on your boxing gloves or put on your unbok Muay Thai elbow blows and beat the heck up out of that like button for me, man. Share that, all right? So we asked it to give me a list of local niches to offer my marketing services to. Make sure these are obscure niches uh, that other advertising agencies wouldn't think of. Reason why we asked that is because everybody always suggests for you to just go ahead and go after realtors, chiropractors, dentists, roofers, that type of stuff. But let's see what ChatGPT can come up with. Uh, what the heck? Okay, so it says, as an AI language model, I don't have the ability to know every local market and its unique needs. Uh, however, here are some potential obscure niches you can consider uh, targeting with your marketing services. So they got elderly care, organic pet food, uh, plant-based diet, mm, local artisans, let's see, co-working spaces, eh, mindful is medicine, um, give me more local service uh, based niches. Okay. All right, so now they're getting into it. Now they're doing it, baby. And we're going to take these and we're going to branch off to it and go more in depth with it. And we're going to choose the best ones, okay? Now, let's see. Hmm. Car rental for road trips, mobile car detailing, dog grooming, personal shopping services. Uh, what are the more expensive ones boom all right so let's see what they come up with with this all right luxury real estate private aviation there we go high-end fashion fine dining private education medical aesthetics luxury travel um give it to me in a keyword search format for google All right. Mm. See, I got the wrong idea. I'm not asking it to find me marketing services. I'm talking about the local businesses themselves. I'm not seeking marketing services. I provide the marketing services. I'm asking you to recommend uh, local business types that I could offer my services to that uh, are unique and high T 
ticket uh, type local businesses. All right, it apologized, baby. All right, so now we're getting into it. Now we're getting a little bit better, man. A real gutter, man. Mm, button, man. Doom, 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 like bro, man. 50 cent voice. Okay, so we got luxury car dealerships. So that's not technically a keyword, but it is a niche. It is a niche. So now that we got the niche, we can find some keywords in there. Then I say we were going to find profitable niches niches baby okay so check this out then we got high-end real estate agencies okay then we got private golf clubs now i'm gonna show y'all something with that now hey guys i i strongly suggest that you guys take action with with this stuff that we go over today some of you guys are in a boot camp already remember just to remind you guys, today is the last day for enrollment to the live eight week live boot camp for Asset Empire. You understand where we're going to monetize five to seven different assets by the end of that eight weeks where you guys can have passive income flowing in, baby. But it takes action in order to cash in. OK, so check this out. Private golf clubs, that's one that's crazy. I'm going I'm to I'm hook y'all up. I'm going to let y'all see some of that stuff. Okay, now watch this. Boutique hotels, high-end spas. Now, this one is super high ticket too right here. Private fitness clubs, private schools, luxury home builders, exclusive yacht clubs. Oh, Oh my God. Now, like, give me some more chat GPT. Give me some more in my Buster Rhymes voice. Okay. Like, give me some more. I wonder where to go ahead and uh, give it to me if I just say, give me some more. <laughs> hey, it said, hey, it's going. <laughs> I ain't even spell it right. And it said, okay. All right. So, boom. Check this out, guys. they really killing it now. They're giving all niches. We ain't even had to do the hard work yet. We ain't even had to do the hard work yet. You could just keep saying continue. Give me some more. Uh, all right. So we got private aviation companies. We have high-end home decor stores. We got luxury jewelry stores. Private, uh, excuse me, private country clubs, uh, spas and resorts. Come on, man. If you got your directory game ready, man, y'all should be looking at this right now. I ain't even had to do no work yet. Like, I ain't got to show y'all what I'm trying to show you yet. Chat GPT doing it all. We can go ahead and cut it off right now. All right, there we done. We done, man. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> y'all need to know how to talk to this dang on software or this whatever this is. Y'all got to know how to talk to Chat GPT. Like, just play around with it. Talk to it like a person, like a homie. Like, hey, you got to do, watch this, man. Watch this. These suggestions, hold on. These suggestions suck, dude. You need to do way better than that, bro. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sorry that the previous suggestions did not meet your expectations. And then now they came in with some more, baby. Look at this, man. Put a hashtag. Hey, <laughs> listen. Okay, so we got the high end hair salons, private yacht rentals, which I already introduced y'all to that before. We got the luxury travel agencies, private event planning companies, uh, high end concierge services, private banking services. Luxury home furnishing stores, no, no Ashley furniture up in that mud. The high end tailors, fine wine shops. Are you crazy? That's still not good enough, man. <laughs> I apologize again. And drum roll. Ah, oh, damn, you're going to put me on the spot like that? Give me some more. Continue. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they breaking down. Now they starting to 
Okay, personal shopping, private luxury tour operators. That's something we can go into. High-end interior design, luxury property design, uh, antique dealers. And they getting into it like that, dog. All right, so <clears throat> if you guys have played around with chat GPT like that before, go ahead and let me know, man. Do you see how simple it was to get chat GPT to go in here and find some niches? Okay, like you see how easy that was. And then when the niches were too plain and regular, I told it to come up with more unique niches. Some niches that other, you know, advertising agencies probably aren't going after. Oh, then I told it, hey, make sure they're like high priced, high end services, because I want to make a lot of money if I decide to partner with them or get some equity about these companies. Right. So like what y'all think, man? so far are y'all starting to get an idea how you can use this mug for yourself like if y'all ain't playing around with chat gpt man you you missing out okay okay so yeah yeah run them likes up says camille leachman <laughs> okay nelson said hey hey what's going on uh curtis what's going on bro niches galore yes heavy like a chevy says chad all right so now that we got some some like base niches. Let's see if we can uh, do a little bit of keyword research over here to Google and see if we can like, like would it work in every city? Like, let's say you want to create a directory. Would, would these niches be like good enough for that? Would you be able to bring in uh high, high call volume or high traffic? You know what I'm saying? Because you want it, you want it, you want frequent sales. You don't want to get sales every now and then, right? So even though some of these are high ticket and uh enticing and look exciting to work in, <clears throat> excuse me, it needs to fit all the criteria. Meaning it needs to be high ticket. If you can get it high ticket, uh, it will be nice if you can get high volume, meaning. A lot of people are searching for it as in high demand or whatever. But then the competition needs to be low, baby. We said we want profitable niches. How are you going to know if they're profitable if it's too much competition and you can't ever get a sale? Well, I guess the high competition could be a decent indicator if it's profitable or not. But that's not guaranteed because there's a lot of competition for a fishing pole. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you can make some money with fishing poles, but it ain't like something that I would be like going after or whatever. So, <laughs> you know, unless it's some like super exclusive type fishing pole, like that I would be proud of promoting. Okay. So now, now we want to be able to find out like, okay, out of these niches, which niches would get high call volume? Which niches, even, even if they didn't get too, too high call volume, let's say you made like one or two sales a month and that could cover all of your freaking rent. You understand? Like, that's crazy. That's G right here. Okay. So let's check out private golf clubs real quick. I want to see how much is the average cost of membership yeah stop to private golf clubs mm, wow all right so 520 per month we'll just say annually round that up ah, i gave me the same dang old thing all right but you guys do the math boom 520 a month dude that's not even completely accurate. I was it it varies based off of the city too. Let me see. Let's go. Um we'll say annual membership. And and we'll go to what was that? Was that Atlanta or was that Tennessee or te let's see Texas? We'll just try Texas. Let's see. Woo. Wow. Look at this. Dallas Country Club 
starts at a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. Now, guys and gals, this might seem like a boring niche to you, but if you partner with a golf club or a country club, and you get you can charge them hybrid. You can charge them per lead or you can just charge them per membership, whatever you decide to do with the partner. And this was all the way back in 2014, so it got to be way more than that. Like, golly, let's see. It's hard to mm. Yeesh. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to take this one right here, guys. All right, so Dallas Country Club. It's going to vary per city. So we'll say, all right, Dallas Country Club. We want to rank for that. Okay. Let's check the competition. Uh, Country Club Membership Dallas. Boom, we got us a nice little keyword right here. Look at all these country clubs right here. Brookhaven Country Club, Dallas. See, we got all long tail. So if you were doing a little directory for country club, man, come on, man. This is money, baby. I am showing you money. You see, I showed you that it can be around 100K. This is just Dallas. We didn't even went nowhere else. So if you're ranking for all of these, they're giving you the keywords. So this is a section right here, I'm guessing. Royal Oaks, never been there before. Glen Eagles, never been there before. Woodhaven, Brookhaven, Prestonwood, Northwood, uh, Lakewood. You understand? These are all different places or locations, and you can rank for all of these. So let's just, yeah, let's just look at the competition for this one. Ah, snap. Okay. We got, oh, my God. Dude, I am a bully. I am a bully because this is taking candy from a baby. I'm a bully, man. Check this out. You got duplicates right here. Remember I told you guys, when you are checking your level of competition, some of the signs you want to look for on the first page of Google is multiple duplicates, uh, duplicables of the same uh, I said duplicables, <laughs> duplicates of the same website. That lets you know that Google, either that either that website got some awesome SEO or Google just ain't really got nothing else related to show up for this, for this specific keyword right here. Then we got some extra keywords that go with it. Look at the dress code, cost, initiation fee. Oh my God, man, you can have a dang on field day with this. Mm. Delicioso. I might go after this one, man. Yeah, hey, hey, don't don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Check this out. All right. So now we got duplicates. And right up under the duplicates is the FAQ section or for Google, the people also ask session. That should not be ranking all the way up there. That lets you know that these dudes' websites, no matter how expensive their memberships are, their SEO game is bummy. Their SEO game is bummy. And guys like me, or I guess they're not like me, but people who know how to do similar to what I know how to do, they don't really know how to monetize this niche. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit more up there than they know what to do with. This ain't some niche where you just call them, like, hey, um, if you pay me $5,000 a month, I'll do your SEO for you. This ain't one of those niches right here. So they're too lazy to figure out how to monetize it. So you want to know another reason I know that this is super easy to rank for? Check this out. November 28, 2018. Super old. Haven't been updated at all. Now check this out. Even worse. It gets worse. Can you believe it? 2008 on the first page of Google still. This is how you do your keyword research. This is how you do your niche research. You find something that is extremely high ticket, got a decent amount of volume, but the competition is pathetic, disgusting, preposterous. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. No, 
All right, <laughs> look at this, October 24, 2014. Man, you might be able to rank on the first page with a YouTube video. Like, I mean, or a Twitter tweet. This is just so pitiful. All right, so now we're just going to hit it with the all in title. Now that we know the first page is weak, let's see how many actual pages are competing for this keyword. Let's try to get it as low as possible. Oh, oh, this is Magnifico. This is Magnifico right here, man. Like, oh, my God. Only six search results. It is only six websites that are actually optimized with their page to try to come after this specific keyword. Ah, man. I mean, this is muy difficile, guys. I, I, if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm being a little bit sarcastic because, like, this is super simple. Okay, so now we can go through some more. See how simple those are. You got Northwood, you got Prestonwood, you know what I'm saying? You got Lakewood, and then we can try a whole different freaking uh, uh, niche. But what I would do is I would check this out in every city. Every city. I would try to rank for this in every city. If you know that the ticket is 100K, and you can create a partnership with these people. You become the, uh, the, uh, the authority directory that provides them with endless uh, applications for their country club or golf club or whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I know they can cut you in real good, right? So y'all decide on a good partnership, how much you can get out of their fees or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so now let's check the first page again. Somebody got the feature snippet right here. This is awesome. You want to strive to get the feature snippet section right here because, as you can see, it just put it all in their face, man. You capture a lot of leads right here. And right up under the feature snippet, you got the uh, people also ask again. And then you still got them same old ones from other search right here. Look at this, 2020. 2014, man, this is crazy. All right, so as y'all can see, I just tossed you. We got 30 people on here. Y'all need to get them likes up. Get them likes up like it ain't no such thing as gravity, baby. Get them likes up like you can't be held down. Get them likes up like they're having a standing ovation. Likes up like they didn't took no those and can't fall asleep. They up. Get them likes up, baby. Bars, okay? Now check this out, man. We're going to go over here and we're going to find another niche and we're going to go deep into these niches. I'm showing you my exact processes for finding niches that other people aren't going after. Okay. So let's see. Mm, I'm, I'm private education. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm messing around with y'all. I'm in a good mood, man. Y'all want me upset, man. I'm, I'm good, right? All right, so check this out. We got luxury home builders. Mm. Nah, let's see. High-end wedding venues. That one is decent, but we might come back to that. Private equity firms, that's a good one. But no, no, no. Say yeah, 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 yeah. You say no, 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 no. All right, so. Sometimes we can combine like a mid price offer with a high volume uh, 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 turnout. And what I mean by that is this right here. All right, pr private luxury tour operators. Oh, excuse me, golly. Okay, so check this out. Private luxury tour operators, which is ask chat GPT real quick. Chat GPT, make it to where you ain't really got to, like think too hard. <laughs> All right, give me some examples of private luxury tour operators. Let's see what they come up with. Abercrombie and Kent. What the hell is that? Okay, it's a luxury travel company that offers private and custom tours to destinations around the world, including Africa, blah, blah, blah. We got Jakarta Travel. Hmm. 
wow yeah you know that's gonna be some cake let's go ahead and just take this keyword and see if we can find at least a related keyword to it because i don't think that's the actual keyword itself let's see hey i guess it is private luxury tour probably have to take off the operator situation so let's see private luxury tours boom oh snappage look at this oh snappage is that where i'm where i was born at right there on the list right here let's click on hawaii right here man let's see let's see okay we got some we got a little bit of extra keywords for it Mm, okay all right so now we're going to check out the quality of the first page that is ranking number one if it's ranking number one it should be like just on point with their seo their on page and just killing it with the content and all of that extra stuff it should be mm, man this looks fun okay well um i mean it's decent but doesn't look like nothing to uh like <laughs> it don't look too competitive do it oh the snack pack is back earlier we couldn't find the snack pack guys remember okay but the snack pack is back baby all right so then we come down here we got the luxury tours now we're going to count how many directories on the first page for this keyword right here okay now let's see let's check this one out real quick Mm, okay okay again it's pretty much like the same type of site and you can look at the prices on here i love these type of sites because it makes it easy for you to drop service them if you don't know what drop servicing is is like the service version of drop shipping another word for it is service arbitrage so basically on your directory let's say that you didn't want to get them as a client or nothing like that, you could bump this up, maybe an extra thousand bucks, add like an extra feature or some other value to it or something like that, right? And then boom, you keep the difference. So when somebody books from your directory, you just go ahead and take 949 of that out of what you got paid from the actual person because you're acting as the third party, right? Okay, and then you're going to send them the 949 and then send the person their uh, confirmation through booking, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically how that works. So I love that because they display their their actual prices when a lot of freaking websites don't. So um, that's a decent site, but it's just still no competition, man. It's not that competitive. Yeah, if y'all was on here earlier, you know how I do. You know, you've seen the perfect SEO game plan. So you... You can tell that these web pages wouldn't be any competition with what I have you guys do. Okay, so we got some decent little uh, sites on here and stuff, but I mean, this is a niche where there's nobody like us. I'm not going to say me because you guys will be an extension of me once you start implementing these things. Woo, that's kind of high right there. We will typically want that a lot lower, but when we see that the dang on like, their websites suck. Like their websites suck, guys. So I would at least try it. I would try it still. So let's go to Washington, D.C. Boom. Okay. Oh, snap. That's bad. TripAdvisor is ranking number one. We got another directory. Uh, let's see. What is this? <sighs> yes it's kind of boring just looking at the these it just sucks tours by locals a lot of review pages and stuff this is not listen this is not a hard niche to kill guys so what you want to be looking for is a lot of directories on the first page duplicate sites uh um low pages when you put the all in title And just crappy content on the site. Okay, perfect. See, a low amount of pages. There's only seven search results for people that are trying to actually rank for private luxury tours in Washington. 
And as you saw on that site, the mugs can be pretty high ticket. All right. So, <laughs> boom. Now, let's try another one. What's remote link? No, 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 no. We want to get out of that. Uh, we got fine wine shops, event planning companies, luxury travel agencies. All right. So now we got this one, one of my favorites right here. Now, this is no matter, even though I've been talking about this for a long time, it seems as if people ain't paying no damn attention because I still haven't seen any new uh, private yacht directories pop up. So maybe one of you lucky few will be one that creates it. So boom. So check this out. We got, got a couple extra keywords. Let's see. Boom. Bop. Now we want to start. Let's see. Private yacht. No, no. We'll just take the companies off. And that's going to help us out. As you can see, look at all of these just started popping up when I took the word companies off. So you just got to play around with Google, play around with ChatGPT. You'll find a lot of different niches. You'll find a lot of different keywords. So we're going to do the alphabet game real quick to see what other keywords we can find and what areas this would be good for. So right now is a blank slate. These are the ones that are automatically suggested because that means they have a, a very high volume, right? They have a very high volume. If Google is suggesting them without us putting a particular place in, that means recently Google has received a lot of search inquiries for this niche in these areas. So Norway, Miami, Greece, Charleston, Hawaii, the Mediterranean, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so boom, we're going to start with the ladder A, like Family Guy. Okay, so when I did the ladder A, Google suggests, this is why I'm trying to tell you guys, Google has had AI for a long damn time. What do you think this is? The ability to be able to suggest and remember like a whole bunch of accumulated search. This is artificial intelligence right here. So don't get it twisted. This stuff been around for a long time and Google is not behind, okay? All right, so look, we put the letter A right there, and it popped up with the most suggested search for a luxury uh, yacht charter, Alaska. Then we got Antarctica, uh, Malfi Coast, uh, Auckland, Australia, Arley Beach, whatever that is. We got Aruba, Antigua, then we got Asia. And then you can also put a little stuff behind it to get more, boom, Abu Dhabi. Boom, look at that, baby. That's some money right there, Abu Dhabi, right? Okay, so then we put a C. As you can tell, I love this. I love keyword research. I could do this all damn day, okay? Oh, man, if you can get paid to do a keyword, reading, it probably is a key, you know. All right, F, South Africa pop up, G, and I just go through the alphabets. Uh-huh, A, so Arley Beach, whatever the hell that is. That must be nice. Uh, J. Ajax, L, M, O, D. And I just usually just go through these. This is a very tedious situation, but you can basically just copy one of these and tell chat GPT to give me more keywords like this and they'll do it, uh, you know, for you. But it's, it's a lot more fun to like seek the freaking keywords yourself when you especially when you find like buried treasure like these keywords these long tail keywords that get decent amount of search volume but it's no competition it's like a ghost town for seos all right so boom and well, then we go to b we got the bahamas we got barcelona we got barbados we got bali baby bali baby we got boston and we hit them with the c on it the c walk Okay, <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina, believe it or not. Croatia, Cancun, you can expect that. Cartagena, Cartagena um, Dubai. So you guys are getting a dang on idea. So we'll just go ahead and start with one. We'll go to the Bahamas. Let's go to the Bay Hamas. The Bay Hamas. Okay. The Bay Hamas and then pay homage. Okay, let's see. 
So these are mainly freaking uh uh I think this is a directory right here. We'll see. Okay, so we got yard yeah, let's open that up. Open that up, open that up, and then open this up. So I've I don't think I've ever done uh, um an in-depth niche research locate like seek and destroy type tutorial like this live on YouTube before to help people find their most profitable niches out there. I don't think I've ever done this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've done niche videos before on YouTube, but like, well, you know, chat GPT is new, so definitely never did one with that. Um, and also, oh, damn, they just charged me, whatever. But I don't use that software, man. All right, but anyway, so let's move on. Also, we got a people also ask, but let's see if we can find some directories. Okay, destinations, yacht charter fleet. Got me up all night. Some, some, they love some, they got me up all night. Okay, so this is just like, yes, this is a directory. This is a directory, man. And look at the prices. Y'all thought I was lying, man. Y'all thought I'd be playing with your emotions, Smokey, but I don't. Look at this. Look at this. It's people paying this. So I, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all be trying to promote this stuff with the, for the patty cake money. You want some patty cake money. Imagine the commission you'll get when you send them an inquiry for somebody that want to do this. Okay? Like, come on, man. Come on, a milli boy per week. Now, of course, those, you know, those are the golden boys, meaning you ain't going to rent these out every single week at all. But the commission on them, even if you <laughs> like one a month, come on, man. Look at that. Look at that. A smooth five to 10 grand easy off of that. Or more if you can get them to start trusting and loving you. I'm talking about your partner. Come on. Yeesh. So you make your niche directory and you just take the freaking boats and images and all of this stuff that you see on here and you put it on, you list them on your directory or have them do it and you uh, negotiate the partnership. Yeah, hey, when somebody purchases through my directory, how much do I get, right? Like, dude, this is 1.6 right here, almost 1.7, 1.5 right here. A week. I mean, I don't think y'all seeing this. This is a different type of clientele right here that can rent that out a week. Come on, man. And there's no SE. I just showed y'all. Watch this. These sites ain't nothing for real. Look at this. This look like a dang on Weebly's uh, like template site. Look at this. No, like, real good. Like, come on, man. Y'all can beat this out. Man. And just in case you thought it was a fluke, this is a completely different site. And their yachts, their private yachts, are pretty much the same cost. Look at this one. This is like the lowest price we've seen so far, 350 a week. Man, this niche is crazy. Hey, man. Mm. Ah, okay, so let me close this one out. Close that one out. Would you believe me when I said I'm in love? All right, so check this out, man. Here's another one and another one. Man, I mean, what y'all thinking in the, in, the, in, the, in the daggone chat? Let me know what y'all think. How you feeling the yacht, the private yacht niche? Put a hashtag yacht life. Put a hashtag yacht life if you feel in this niche right here. If you like, man, dude, I might want to start a directory in this niche right here. Because as you can see, it's a, 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 an abundance of um, countries and cities that you can rank for. And the competition is pretty low in all of them. Pretty much. I mean, come on, put a hashtag yacht life if you feel in this niche right here. Chad Joseph Johnson said, I need to learn this ASAP without the Rocky. Kareem said, yep, I have been listening. 
Ronnie say, yes, Lord. Yes, man, I told y'all, man, like, I, I'm not going to hold y'all. That the tool right there is, is still not ready, man. Like, we ran into some hiccups on it. That's why I sent you the refund, bro. I'm, I'm never going to hold y'all money if I can't fulfill. And uh, I'm happy you appreciate that. Try to be honest over here. Uh, Selfmade said, next PG virtual golf simulator. Yes, Lord. We got some hashtag yacht lives in here. Mind blown. Okay. Yes, Lord, nephew. Gotcha. I told y'all, man, this is a whole nother world out here. We're over here on on uh on YouTube and and you know what I'm saying, watch this. Look, <laughs> uh drop ship like products to drop ship. Dude, like look at this crap they telling you to drop ship. You understand? Like Look at this. This is how much he made, right? Probably running crazy amounts of ads. And, okay, I'm happy you made some money, guys. That's cool. But, dude, like, what if one of your commissions was that? Look at this. Look at this one right here. How much, what does that say on here? He's it's On the thumbnail, it says $3,933. But look how many orders he had to get. You know what those ads had to spend? You know how much he had to spend on ads? So out of that, he probably only over a little bit over a thousand if he's lucky. Depending on his ad game. I don't know what his irresistible offer is. You understand? Like, depends on his ad game. So I'm not going to do him dirty like that, but that's not profit right there. But if you rank in Google with these yacht terms, with this low competition, even if you only got one per month, you be net, he needed to get 86 orders. So this is what I'll be trying to tell y'all. See, I don't play no games with y'all, man. This is what I mean when I say, take your time, take your time and research the, the, when they say uh, work smart, that's what it's talking about, your strategy game, your prep. Because if you prepare, if you prep, if you strategize and you spend the most energy on that part, then the actual action part, the implementation part is simple. So if you wanted to make $5,000 a month, why don't you promote something crazy? Like we we are afraid. Like our we give ourselves so many limited beliefs that will stay in a safe zone and only promote stuff that's that's a hundred something. People ain't got that much money. They, they ain't nobody out there that's gonna spend that. Why? Because you won't spend it. It's people out there that got money that they just throw it around. You seen you seen them when you go to the strip club. And there'll be dudes that don't got money to spend and then still be just throwing it around. But it's people out there that really got money. And they just care about when you can, this is, here's the thing. This is the difference between uh, poor people and wealthy people. Poor people care about money. Poor people care about money. Wealthy people care about experiences. Why do you think as soon as they get a crap load of money, they go hide off in the mountains and learn Buddhism and, and peaceful and serene surroundings and get themselves a, 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 a freaking guru Buddhist type situation? Because they care more about experiences. Once you realize money don't mean nothing, except for a defense like the Bible says, people care more about experiences. So when you target stuff that costs like this you're in a different type of person there pause that 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 different type of person has a different type of mindset they're on a whole nother level they're not penny pinching anymore they're not worried about their light bill then they're, they're nowhere near that type of stuff the, this is a whole different type of person you might look at this and be like oh my god no no that like why would anyone pay that that is it's certain people who could drop this as a tip at a freaking restaurant. So do you think when they come here and see this stuff, they flinch, sweat, think twice, window shop? No, they have their guy come here. Hey, I'm going to be in Miami 
uh, about a week. I do not want to stay at a hotel. Get us one of these so we can sleep on that mug and be away from people. Boom. I mean, like, come on. That's a different type of person right there. They're not playing with patty cake money. So when you position yourself with stuff like this, the fun part of positioning yourself like uh, with stuff like this is you get to meet different type of people. I can tell you the type of people I've met like that I never would have thought called through some of my our our call tracking numbers and stuff. Like I'm like, what the hell is this really? This person just by positioning yourself with stuff like this. You see what I'm saying? So when you are over stuck on YouTube and they're taking you through these, look at this. And, and, and my video is not going to get this. This video ain't going to get no 50, uh, 53,000 views. We already know it, guys. You understand? Channels like mine where we do real business barely gets views, right? We already know that. But that's okay. You got to dig for the treasure sometimes. We're not going to get nothing like this. Even though they're going to tell you to go on Amazon, no hating, no no, no shade, but they're going to tell you to go on Amazon and find a baby bottle, <laughs> find a, a, a jacket that is popular this year, find, you know, get those space shoes that Kanye West are walking around in. We're going to drop ship those. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to sell a million of those. You saw the dude, he had, he had to sell he had, hey, look at us, we're famous. No, but he had to sell freaking 86 orders just to make over three grand, and that's not even profit. Look at him, he's telling you to sell that microphone right there. That sucks. When you can just literally beat these little directories out using a perfect SEO game plan, as you can see, it's not difficult. All of these are directories anyway. It's only maybe like four or five of them that are actual luxury yacht companies. The rest of these guys are doing what I'm telling you to do. They're listing these yachts on their sites. They're ranking for it. And when the sales or the leads come in, they have their partners, the actual service providers, and they get their cut. Uh, I don't think y'all hear me, man. I don't think I, if you hear me put a hashtag, all ears, all ears, my bad. I'm from St. Louis. So let me, let me do it. How y'all probably do it. All ears. <laughs> it feel weird as a mug saying it like that. It feel weird. Okay. So put a hashtag, all ears. <laughs> I feel proper as hell. Hashtag all ears, David. Okay. Yeah, it's real. We are all ears. Okay. So. As y'all can see, pretty much these sites are just crappy. Some of them are directories. Others are the actual service providers. And you definitely know they don't know what they're doing. All right. But if we can also partner with them and get in this snack pack, man, that's where it's at, bro. That's where it's at, broski. Okay. What y'all think so far, man? I mean, do you think I'm holding anything back from y'all? Or do you think I'm I'm telling it all to you? Do you think I'm late, leaving it all out on the stage, man, so to speak? You understand? Did I get up there and break a leg yet? You know, <laughs> I told y'all I wasn't going to hide nothing from y'all, man. Okay? This is how I choose my niches. And I spent hours doing this stuff. I can't keep y'all this long because y'all probably got some stuff to do. But this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm like a mad scientist in the lab. Like, when I ain't had nothing to do, I would literally get on here and I would just start with the alphabet and start trying to find new niches. I'll go St. Louis. And then I'll go right here, put a space. And then I'll put A, boom. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then I started writing down all those notes as I found all of those niches. Look at this, Aquarium, St. Louis, Arch. You can partner with the Arch, the Arch gives tours. Amtrak, you can drop service of tickets to the Amtrak station. That's the train if you don't know what that is. Um, you can go and get a CPA offer, an affiliate offer for uh, plane tickets, and you can rank for airports, airport in your city. Um, look at this, a sin dispensary, whatever that is. Okay, well, let's check this out. So I can show you that there's no competition. Oh, excuse me. All right, watch this. Airport tickets. 
St. Louis airport tickets. Okay, so we got this little situation right here. Then we got Travelocity. Open that up. Uh, I think this is literally Lambert International Airport, but we're going to count the directories. Okay, so let's see. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to open up. Okay, yeah, this is actually the St. Louis International Airport website. And look at this. I can't even go down any further than this. Pause. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutters, right? I don't go that way. Okay. But look at this. That's the site. That's number one. That's number one for air. Listen, I wish I still had that dang on traffic tool uh, so I can show y'all. But this gives at least about I say we maybe like between 12,000 to 25,000 searches per month. This keyword right here. And I just showed y'all that is nothing but um, Lambert International right there. And then it has Travelocity, which is a directory site. Don't believe me? Let's open it up. It's a drop servicing directory site. They drop service uh, plane tickets and like pretty much anything travel. Okay car rentals, all of that. Look at this. Their partners are Spirit. Their partners are, are Southwest. Their partners are American Airlines and all of that. Boom. So it's an all-in-one drop service in place. You can get your flights. You can get your packages. You can get your stays. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. These are proven business models. I don't play with y'all. I only teach you about proven business models. The Bible says to let all your ways be established. This is an asset. It's just a website and you can clone it super cheap, super cheap. You can go to Fiverr right now and just like type in Travelocity clone or, or a travel website clone or something. A couple hundred bucks, you got you a site just like this that functions just as good, probably not as, as well, but it can get you up and running. Then you just use my methods to start filling it up with traffic and sales. Boom. Oh, my God. Yes. Could it be that simple? Oh, didn't I tell you something about duplicates? We got Expedia.com twice right here. Then we got a people also X. Then we got another directory, Kayak.com. Then we got cheap flights right here. This We just now, are we just now getting to the real guys? That lets you know that these dudes, even though they're the actual real service providers, the actual airlines, they suck. Their websites suck which is why they rely on these directory sites i'm trying to tell y'all they need you more than you need them you understand you list their flight deals on your directories and boom so we got southwest airlines we got american airlines united and they're all the way down here all the way down here man so if you start ranking for like super awesomely low competitive um uh keywords for flights then you're going to like make a lot of money. For example, uh, flights, watch this, flights from St. Louis to, then we just do an A, we go to the B, then we go through the C, then we go through the D, then we go through the E. Look at this. But we can hit the El Paso game right there, and then we can do that right there. Okay. So now we look. We got this little graph right here. Southwest, Expedia, Kayak, Travelocity, Cheap Flights, Cheapo Air. I use them to get to Mexico. All right. Boom. These are all directory sites. What I'm trying to tell y'all to build. We don't really want to play no games. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we don't really want to play no game. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell them, man. All directories on the first page. SEO game week. Boom. Put the all in title right there. Oh, oh my God. Oh, did we hit the jackpot? Did we hit the jackpot, man? Did we find the freaking pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? You understand what I'm talking about? Literally, zero. Zero. 
So you're like, man, how can I monetize this? You talking all this, this sounds cool and everything. How can I monetize this? I don't even really know how to get in contact with these guys. Okay, so we come down here. There's a couple ways you can do this. We can go down here. You can call these guys too, guys. Did y'all know that? You can always ca uh, call them. Okay, so we can go to the hiring about us. Let's see. When I don't see it on here, I usually just call. Let's see. But usually it has a referrals or affiliate section somewhere around here. Let's see. No, nah, that's not going to be it. Let's see. About us. Nope, 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 nope. Contingency conditions. Nope. FAQs, let's come here. I don't want no job, job. Well, how about this? We'll do this. We'll do airline affiliate program. Okay. 15 best airline affiliate programs. It don't hurt to just ask Google sometimes, guys. Uh, Mr. Carter say, I'm always late, LOL. <laughs> I got you, man. It's all right. This is going to be recorded. It has been recorded as we speak. Okay, hey, we compiled this list. Boom. Okay, so we got Skyscanner affiliate program. We got Kayak affiliate program, even though Kayak is already a freaking, like, they made the partnerships already, though, guys. So if you don't mind splitting it a little bit, then you can just go straight into these just in case you don't know how to get in contact with Southwest Airlines. They already did all that stuff. So it's called Leverage Game. Mamondo, CheapTickets.com, uh, Kiwi.com, uh, Qatar Airways Affiliate Program, Hawaiian Airlines. Let's open these two right here. Ah, come on. Trying to go to the actual dang on site, man. So you got to go through Flex. Mm, yeah, you got to go through Flex. Let's see. Oh, snappage. All right, let's see. So sometimes you want to follow the link to make sure it's the real company and stuff too. So you ain't just signing up to some BS. Okay. All right, so... This is the real thing. So you can just Google that, man. Like, it's very simple. You just Google what you need to know. In this day and age, we, we can know anything. We Google it. Then we got chat GPT and other little softwares that's starting to, like, answer everything, right? All right. So Salva Game says, all ears, I appreciate y'all listening, man. All right. So now, so y'all see, man, like, it's a whole bunch of different niches out here that uh <laughs> they can be high ticket low competition you understand they can be high volume we got travel agencies let's see let's see if we can find let's see if we can find another one guys okay all right so let's go into this pause This is one of my favorites. Remember, we want to be able to get one sale and it could potentially like, at least almost take care of our dang on rent. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do not want to, come on, man. How difficult, if you guys have made money online, how difficult was it to get your first couple sales? For some of you guys that went straight to coaches, it wasn't difficult at all. You never like had that broke period that a lot of us entrepreneurs at the beginning had right but for those of us like you know it might take people a while to get some conversions so my thing is this if you waiting a while dang don't you want it to be worth your weight you understand like worth your weight or worth the while or whatever you want to say right like i'd rather it be like worth it like dude like Hey, when this one sale came in this month, we made three grand or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want stuff like that where it makes up for the time. So, boom, we're going to hit them with that. Then we're going to get some extra keywords from that. 
Okay, private luxury car rental. Probably don't need to put the word private on it since it already got luxury on it. Boom, there go the snack package right there. So what we're going to do is this is what we're going to do. I like to really zone in. Bow. Okay, so now we're going to put this behind here and see what they suggest. Oh, my God. Man. Like, look at this. It's just like a buffet table of extra keywords that we can feast upon and make some money. You understand? Like, <laughs> okay. Hourly exotic car rental. That's a good keyword. Now you're getting very specific. Then it suggests a type that is in high demand. Okay, so we're going to check out this keyword real quick and see the level of competition for this. Mm. So right up in here, up in here, up in here, we got the people also asked right up under the number one. Look at this. We ain't even got to, the, got to go to the site. Look at this, 1,400 a day. 335. Most people aren't going to book it for one day unless they're trying to like shoot a rap video or some crap like that, right? So most people are going to get it for the weekend or the week. So imagine that. That's 1400 a day. Y'all do the math. Whether that's a three-day weekend or a seven-day week, or at least five days, right? Then we got some for 500. Let's go ahead and click over to the site. So I'm introducing y'all to a whole different world, some of you. I don't want you to think that you have to sell uh, $50 ebooks and, and all of this stuff like that when you got things out here like this. It's people out here renting a Rolls Royce Ghost for $1,400 a day or the Maserati for 500 boys. You understand what I'm saying? 1100 for the Spider, 1400 for the Rari. Woo wee, I love this orange and black right here, Mo. This orange and black is doing it for me. Black and orange, black and orange, black and orange, black and orange. Uh, uh-huh. You know what it is. Every time I'm live, we do it big. Uh, looking at the Rari like that's nothing. When I get up off this live, I'm going to buy it. No. All right. <laughs> that's nothing. All right. So they got the exotic uh, car rentals. They got the yacht rentals, the charter planes, luxury transportation, guys. This is a whole nother world when you're stepping into this, man. People living different in these niches. Mr. Carter say he only made $1 online one time. Hey, at least you know it's possible. The scary part is not knowing if. It's like, hmm, I wonder can this online stuff actually work? Is it a scam? Like, are people actually making money? I see these videos, but I never actually made money. So it's like this fabricated, made up, magical thing until you actually see at least something in your account. I told y'all I did the video talking about my first commission was like 14 cents. And then after that, it was like $7. I went crazy. Like, oh, not because it was a lot of money. It's because I know the type of person I am. Like I like once I know something actually work, once I know something is actually real, I don't see it is. I don't see it for what it is right then and there. I see the potential. I see the future. So when I saw that 14 cents, I saw a few zeros behind that mug. When I saw that $7, I saw like, damn, all I got to do is figure out how to do that over and over and over again. And it's going to have zeros behind that $7. You understand? So being that you made a, a dollar online, put a couple hundred, uh, uh, I mean, put a couple zeros behind it. Put a couple zeros behind that and, and see that. You understand what I'm saying? And it'll help you like keep going. Like, dude. Like, I remember it, I used to prospect for hours and hours a day just to get a dang on $300 or $500 a month client off of a uh, Groupon or some or through Craigslist emailing or something like that. Now we wake up to thousands of dollars a day. We wake up to it before we even start anything, before any of the software start moving, before the ads are going, before we get on any type of consultation or group call or any of that stuff. So don't think that you're going to stay at that dollar level. And if you guys start off 
how I didn't start off. If you start off the right way, like how I'm showing you guys to choose niches right now, me at the time, I was just all over. There wasn't no coach. I didn't have no coach, guys. So I was just doing CPA offers, you know, a little, little patty cake money. Hey, at least it was real, right? But it would take me like all week to get to like $10, $20 in CPA marketing. And then it started getting more. But that only happened when I increased my wisdom. Learning more, then applying more. Learning more, then applying more. Then I started making more. But then it started not making too much sense for me to just keep promoting like, like these CPA offers and stuff. These little low ticket Ooh, if you put in your email, you know, I'll get $3 or some crap. Like, dude, no, it's hard enough to get traffic. I'm not finna just settle for some $3 crap. I'd rather give it away for free. You understand? So eventually that dollar is going to have zeros behind it if you don't give up. All right. Um, He said he didn't know how to scale it. Well, that's what you're learning now. Remember, traffic plus offer, traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. So when you harness the power of, of, uh, of knowing how to like, like command traffic, like no matter what, I know how to go out there and get traffic now. That was an issue because everybody think if you build it, they will come. No. How are they going to know about it? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You need to be able to like command traffic. You can have a good product all you want. It's so many good products out there that's better than the ones that are actually popular. But the ones that are popular is because they know how to get traffic. I mean, I remember when Soldier Boy, the rapper, Soldier Boy came out. I'm like, if this garbage don't get out of here. But he knew how to get his music in front of people. Same thing with that Laffy Taffy bull crap that's, that started an era of crappy low level talent no bars no no talent rappers just came a flood of them and then rap has never been the same since then do i blame them yes yes i do sorry i know i'm going off topic but yes if you know how to harness traffic it doesn't matter what the heck you're selling to tell you the truth you're going to be able to at least accidentally get some sales even if your products suck, right? <laughs> so just imagine harnessing traffic with a good product or service. He said, thank you for recording these. Hey, no problem, bro. Yo, I've been called to do this, man. I can't help it. That's why on the Sabbath day, instead of laying around and resting, I still have to figure out a way to help y'all. I still get on here and go live with y'all. It feels weird just laying around on the Sabbath day. So I have to make sure what I teach you guys are within the guidelines of the Bible, but at least I'm still able to get on here and help y'all get some edification, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, I don't just, like, dude, it, it helps me too. This is like super therapeutic. It feels, it feels stupid to learn so much and not give it to people. Like, it feels dumb, like, like a waste of time, like, you know, like a good man that's wasting his years on the dumb modern woman that's what it feels like when i when i know so much and i can't give it to people like it feels stupid like why did you learn all of this for like why did you accomplish all of this it's hella dumb dude you know what I'm understand that's why i just super despise people that you can tell are knowledgeable but but like hold it away from people you know what i'm saying they, they're so uppity and they like to brag about how wise they are and how much money they got but when you try to get them to help you, they like, oh, well, I really don't have time or I don't help people like you or you don't have enough money for me to help you or some crap like that. I don't, I don't like people like that. You got to pray for them. Yes, there will be a replay for this, sir. Self-made is laughing at Laffy Taffy. RIP to uh, Shardy Low. But yes, that was garbage. <laughs> dungeon studio <laughs> hey uh, what's going on man what's going on all right so what y'all think man so far are y'all liking some of these niches are y'all getting some ideas because some of y'all 
Yeah, it's 16 people in a boot camp. No, I think it's 17 people in a boot camp now. 17 people in the boot camp, the Asset Empire boot camp. They pay, they willingly, I didn't manipulate anybody. Y'all can go back. Y'all can go back a couple months ago. I didn't even, it wasn't my idea to come up with this course. Y'all was asking for it. Go back. Go back on the live streams. Hey, do you have a course for this? Go ahead, go back. So what the reason I'm bringing that up is because I don't want, listen, if you pay 2,500 to get in this boot camp, we're going to be spending a lot of time together. But I'm not a pushover. I'm not a punk. I'm from Southside St. Louis. I'm not going to baby anybody. I'm going to give my most effort. And it would be awesome if you respect my time like I'm going to respect yours. I don't want you to get on here on these live streams and then just act like I'm supposed to feed you Gerber. I want you guys to make moves with the things that we work on together. This is real business. None of us are below the age of 18 on here, I don't believe. All of us are grownups. Adults got responsibilities. Most of us got bills or some type of kids or at least some type of chick to look after a trick on. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> but when I give you guys these things, I need you to apply them. The scripture says you're not wise just for knowing things. You're wise when you apply what you know. That's how you get wisdom. So don't treat it like YouTube. It's a whole different mindset when you get in a boot camp. Everything that we discuss, you need to actually go and do. Like it's a game of Simon Dangon says. Because results aren't going to get themselves. And I don't want y'all to get to the end of it and to try to blame me. Because this is a done with you service. It is not a done for you service. You're not going to be able to get to the end of it and be like, hey, David, man, you ain't you ain't even get me no results, man. You. No, we got accountability. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. I have some blank slates assets that i've shown you guys that aren't filled up yet i created them just for this and you're gonna see me throughout the eight weeks we're gonna do it together you're gonna see ups downs you're gonna see success you're gonna see things we're gonna root each other on and cheer each other on and we're not gonna stop until our assets are monetized five to seven different assets with passive income you understand what i'm saying but it ain't gonna happen if you don't do something, if you get in there and you keep making excuses why you can't show up live, or if you watch the replay and you still don't do nothing, like all of that extra stuff, I can't force you. I'm not at your actual house. The most personal I can get is actually just going live with y'all and spending so many hours together, answering every single question that you have, introducing you to other asset owners and letting you interview them and and make partnerships and get real insight of th this world and stuff like that. That's the best I can do. But you got to like come the other way, man. Like y'all got to like come the other way. Whether or not you have experience in this, guys, it does not matter. What matters is I'm going to be there for you, whether you have experience or not. But I can't like I can't force you to make a move, guys. We're cloning out the assets as we speak. Once these assets are done and we start creating things and doing all of that extra, y'all need to actually like do it. Like do it, man. Like do it. Like whatever you see me do, you do it. Whatever you see me do, you do it. Like I'm about to damn tear up right here because I want y'all to like, like, come on, man. Come on, please just do it. Even the ones of y'all that's watching is not, that's not in the boot camp. I've already given you enough to succeed. Like just us doing this stuff right now. Y'all see the low level of competition so low that you can probably accidentally rank on the first page of Google for some of these terms. Yet and still, even though the competition is low, it's extremely high ticket services. Oh man. Oh, come on. It's a whole new world without Aladdin or Jasmine in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? I want y'all to succeed. So I'm not going to hide from y'all to like the juicy niches and, and the different methods that you use to actually like scale businesses and all. I, look, listen, just make a move, man. Just make a move.
Yes, Jimmy said, hashtag just do it. Kareem says, execution. Leandre says, so is this the same thing you go over in the boot camp? Can you clarify that because please because i am interested in the future um well this is just choosing niches so yes we we are going to be like in niches inside the boot camp and all of that stuff but you know the goal is for everybody to like already choose their niches all right because you choose your niche then you get your domain name then we attach your assets to that domain name so there's a few people that were still a little unsure of their niches and what they wanted to get. So they asked me to do this video or not to particularly to do this video, but to help them. And since so many people have the same question, I decided to do it live tonight. Like what's the point of me going one by one individually? Leverage, remember? So I'm able to leverage this YouTube channel go live and speak to all y'all at one time versus me like messaging or getting on the call with everybody individually. That's not a profitable use of time, guys. All right. So I wanted to just go in here. So let's recap. We started off with a base. We just went up here and we asked chat GPT, hey, give me some local service-based niches. Then it gave us some of these niches and stuff. Then we asked chat GPT, Nah, man, you suck. What are the most uh, more expensive ones? Then it started going into the high end stuff and the luxury type stuff, right? Then we said, like, put that in a keyword format for Google, all right? And then uh, it, it did a little bit better over here, but it added marketing service. I said, look, this, listen, man, quit playing with me, ChatGPT, bro. All right, you don't want to get yocked out right now. You understand? So <laughs> I said, I'm not seeking marketing services. I provide the marketing services. I'm asking you to recommend local business types that I could offer more, my services to that are unique and high ticket. So that's when it got a little bit better. So ChatGPT can really understand real regular conversation. I tried to tell y'all, quit being all robotic and stuck up when you talk to ChatGPT. Talk to it like a regular person. Complain to this mug. Hey, man, you ain't do a good job. Make it better. And it'll actually do that stuff. So that's where we found the golf club, uh, the private golf clubs and the country clubs, where it's like starting at $100,000 per membership. You can partner with these clubs and y'all can decide on what would be a good referral fee for you. That is awesome. So then we got the boutique stuff, the high end spas, luxury home builders, you know, that's decent. Then we went through the uh, private yachts. This is yacht club, though. But we did the yacht charters and the yacht rentals and all of that. Um, yeah, we ain't do no more of these. But what what do you guys think so far, man? Like, are you do y'all have a are you are you starting to get a clear understanding about like how to choose your niches properly? You understand, like niches that are gonna be profitable to you. Like we <laughs> Ah, God, Lee, I'm a little exhausted, guys. We went live earlier if you was on here, so, you know, I'm a little exhausted. Um, listen, figuring out, cracking this online money game is difficult enough, like figuring out the formula for that. The worst, I mean, you know, like, then you got the wait time. Okay, you got the wait time. Then if you don't have laws and formulas like I teach you on this channel, you got the what if problem. This is why people have shiny object syndrome. It's, it has nothing to do with the new opportunity or the product. It has something to do with the lack of faith. You're not sure. You haven't ever accomplished it before. You've only seen it through testimonials of other people. So you don't have enough faith to stick through until you actually start getting some sales. So every time you see something new and cool come around and they say, oh, you'll make money the first day or this person did that, you end up jumping ship on the other opportunity that you had. And guess what? You're going to do the same thing to that one once you find out there's work in it. So this is why I teach people to start off with good profitable niches because at the beginning, your faith is low. So if you can at least get 
freaking like a sale, you know, with a profitable niche that is a decent amount, that'll give you enough confidence that, yo, this is the niche and the model that I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and zone in on this. I'm going to go ahead and zone in on this. But if you take all day to get a sale and it's for a freaking baby bottle, that's not really going to give you the dang on confidence that you need to really start scaling and building a crazy business. You understand? Like me, I'm not like a lot of people. So I got super excited when I made that 14 cent because my mindset is different from a lot of people's. I, I don't, I didn't see the 14 cent. I saw that my life had changed forever. I saw that every entrepreneur book that I read actually came to a head and I can do this. I saw that I would never, ever have to fill out a job application again. Hence the name Effa Job, now known as Anti-Job. That's what I saw when I saw that 14 cent in my account. But most people with a regular seeing eye would say 14 cent? Oh my God, all that work I did and I only made 14 cent? Oh, this ain't for me, man. Hey, I, I heard you know Chick-fil-A hiring. What Biggie say? Don't be mad. UPS is hiring, right? You understand? Most people like that. Like, damn, dude, like I didn't put in all them hours and I got this little $7 commission. They don't see like, dog, if you if you made that possible, that means everything after that is possible. The $70 commission is possible. The $700 commission is possible. The $7,000 check is possible and so on and so forth. So guys, being that everybody don't see possibilities and aren't that optimistic, I like to show you guys niches like this that when you rank for them is not an if. When you rank for them is not patty cake money. It's like, oh, snap. I wouldn't dare go back to my job money. Oh, snap. I wouldn't dare click to watch that damn webinar when I see that YouTube ad. Look at what I'm doing. Ain't no way in hell those people are doing what I'm doing. That's why I choose niches like this to train y'all on. Y'all understand? I can't wait to work with you as well, Leandre. Hey, for all of y'all that haven't got in the boot camp yet, man, remember this is the last day for the live boot camp. This is the eight week live boot camp. We're going to be going live six to eight hours twice per week, Sunday and Wednesday. We're going to be interviewing asset owners, people that actually have real assets out there making money out there. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, um, and also you have access to the master course with the drip feed on it and everything. So you're going to be able to do everything that I can do. Listen, I don't hide anything. Those of you that take action, you're just, you're going to be like as lethal as me with this stuff. That's, that's the goal, man. That's the goal, right? But you got to take action in order to cash in. So let's say that you don't be able to get in today, man. We had a whole bunch of people like Flurry in uh, 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 at the last minute, right? <laughs> hey, because ain't nothing like being live, right? But let's say that you don't have 2,500 today. After today, it will just be uh, admission to the master course. But don't worry, the master course is still going to have all the masterful awesomeness stuff that's in there. Only difference is you'll you'll just get the replays to our live streams and stuff. The replays will be in there. You won't be live with us. And so the course only is 2K. But the boot camp was 2,500. The extra 500 was to help with getting your assets and because you're going to be live with us. So that's your benefit, right? Okay. Um, Leandre say, man, you dropping facts, bro. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Uh, Janae, 
Hey, what's up? Never saw you on this channel before. Uh, she said, you got to celebrate those small wins. Yes, I know. Hey, check this out, man. Me Esposa, or my wife, <laughs> she she supported me, man, y'all. But she thought, I, I could tell. Like, I could see it in her face, man. Like, she thought I was crazy when I came and told her I made 14 cents. Y'all don't understand. I was up, like, all night sometimes, like, like prospecting, DMing, and messaging people, posting in groups, doing all of this old school, tedious methods and stuff, just waiting and crossing my fingers that somebody would come across one of my offers and buy or opt in or something, dude. Like, come on, that, that had to be, yo. Woo, wee, boy. I wouldn't replace it for nothing, but it was definitely a scary and stressful time. Definitely a scary, and, man, I would, if it was some dude out there like me offering what I'm offering, I would have got loans, went to the pawn shop. I did go to pawn shops. Uh, <laughs> so I can't tell you how many times I pawned in my wedding rings, you know what I'm saying, to like to like get courses and do all this extra stuff and try to do, like, dude, dude, man, I, I wasn't playing. I, I was not finna go back to work. I wasn't. I was not made for that. Not made for the plantation. You understand? And if you made it here, if you've been attracted when there's so many other videos, then you're not made for the plantation either. You're just not. So if you don't do something with your life, it's because you doubted yourself. Remember, the Bible says that good and evil, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So if you fail, it's because you didn't believe it. You spoke the failure. You understand what I'm saying? You got to do it. You got to make a move, man. And that ain't no fluffy motivational bull crap because motivation don't mean nothing. You got to be driven. You understand? Even if you ain't got a license. Okay. Now, Jimmy says, uh, met a potential client today needing social media marketing, but outside my niche. I'm thinking of doing it for free because he has connections to people in my niche. Hashtag leverage. Bars. Yes, Lord. Remember what I told y'all the other day, the live stream from last night was give away something free that other people would charge for. So you can sacrifice those marketing services. Yes, you can. In exchange for something more powerful. What's more powerful than him paying you a monthly retainer? A partnership. Direct access to the people that he know that can afford your services. On top of that, you get to siphon off some of his trust, credibility, authority. Oh my God, what his now, what is his now belongs to you? What is his now belongs to you? Just because you weren't greedy up front, man, I need that upfront payment, man. I need that upfront payment. No, you see, yo, this dude got the connections to the people that actually can be helped by me hmm why not help him for free have him pay for the ads and the campaigns but he don't give me nothing out of pocket for three months in exchange for him introducing me to people that'll pay me today because friends purchase off of recommendations of other friends so if he vouches for you the same way uh, John the Baptist vouched for the one y'all call Christ, then everybody will begin to follow you and trust you just by association. So yes, I would strongly recommend that you go ahead and do that. If you can offer him something like easy, easy to implement, not too time consuming, maybe optimize his Google My Business snack pack, or, or just set them up with like a quick Facebook ad with a good irresistible offer or something that might take you 30 minutes to an hour to do or something like that in exchange for that partnership. Oh my God, the partnerships just keep paying for you. It just keeps paying. And all you had to do was help them once. You know, well, you know, help them whenever you want to help them. But, but you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, Lord. Kareem says, question five to seven assets. How do we get to seven? I'm pumped. Okay, well, we're going to focus on the five. We're going to try to monetize as many as it takes before it gets to the uh, end of the eight weeks. 
I said five because a lot of people are cheap. You have to have domain names and hosting for your, your assets. A lot of people get inside boot camps and get inside courses and they start saying, oh man, I ain't know I had to pay for other stuff. As if, if you open a restaurant after paying for the actual restaurant, you wouldn't have to get the commercial kitchen. You wouldn't have to pay for the seats for the diner. You wouldn't have to pay for the employees to start coming in, the banners and advertising to get people to come in there. This is real business. Please don't come to me with the Muffet baby stuff. Okay? So guys, I understand we all have budgets and stuff. So just pace yourself. If you can only work on one asset at a time and you can put money aside from one check to another check or something like that, then do that, guys. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. I understand y'all got responsibilities and babies and chicks and all of that extra stuff that you got to deal with. So just go at your pace. Just do some. I just want you to do it. Just do it. And then you can make it snowball with the stuff that is successful. So I say five to seven assets because typically, I mean, we should all be able to like at least work on five of these mugs, right? And we can scale up from there, okay? All right, he said you understand. I appreciate that, bro. Um, Mr. Carter say I'm looking for looking at domains for the future. I will move forward, just not my top focus right now. I heard that. Hey, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Do what y'all need to do. Listen, I'm not one of them salesy, pitchy types. I put the offers out. I put the proof out, I put the education out, and then I allow people to choose their own fates. You understand what I'm saying? I never want to pressure somebody into something, give them buyer's remorse and have to give them some type of refund because they they don't, I, 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 maybe I made a mistake. I don't know if I should do this or something like that. No, be sure that you, that you want to work with me. All right? I'd rather have no sales than a whole bunch of people that regret it right? That's just how I am. I'm not desperate for money, okay? So I, I want to work with people that actually want to work with me, and I want to work with people that are actually sure that they're ready to go ahead and actually start working on something and building something. The scripture says that we are supposed to leave an inheritance for our children's children, all right? You're not doing that at McDonald's. You're not doing that at Walmart. No offense to any of them. Well, actually, some offense because the slaves work, okay? But the only way to leave an inheritance for your children's children, you need passive income and you need assets. That's it. I follow the laws. When God recommends laws and I actually understand them, I do my damnedest to obey those laws because I understand living outside those laws make my life reckless and unpredictable. And when it's unpredictable, that's chaos. And when that's chaos, that's dangerous. And danger can lead to death. So even when it comes to business, I live by laws. And that's why I have a stone cold faith when I tell people I can help them. But they gotta, they gotta do it too, man. I'm not gonna tie your shoe for you. You understand? I'm gonna I'm a feed you a fish while teaching you to fish. So these live streams on, on, on Google, I mean, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeding you the fish, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm teaching you to fish. OK, like. But then now, like, you know, now you got this skill, now you need to go out and, you know, fish your dang on self. Right. So, yeah, that's what this is about. Kareem say, nah, I'm all in. I'm learning a lot. I understand, bro. You already got in, man. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Carter say I'll post my last cake on Facebook. Your last cake. Hmm. Are you talking about a real cake or are you talking about like money? Like, what do you mean? 
Are you a baker? Do you have a bakery or are you working one? Well, let me know. Dude, there's some stuff, man, like some uh, some sneaky stuff I know. Like a lot of people have issues getting their first customers, clients, or partners and stuff like that. I've helped people uh, create clients out of their old jobs. <laughs> hey, you walk in there and be like, like, give me a raise. They're like, what you talking about? No, you're not getting a raise. And I say, hey, what if I pay my own raise? Like, what you talking about? But first of all, I want to work from home from now on. And I'm going to run these ads and bring you more customers. Now, guess what? You don't have to pay for my health insurance no more. And you don't have to worry about me purposely slipping and falling and trying to sue you either. Because <laughs> now I work from home. I'm an independent contractor. And you just pay me out of the sales that I give you and then give me a little small base. So if they were paying you $15 an hour, uh before now I'll just have them pay you eight dollars an hour plus commission of every new sale that comes through the door because of you oh snappage i mean dude if y'all are in y'all jobs y'all need to be taking the things that y'all learning and just go ahead and turn your bosses into your clients now they work for you now they work for you all right, guys. All right, so I got a big day. We have a big day ahead of us. Manana for the first ever six to eight hour boot camp live stream for Asset Empire. Oh my God, this is going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun, but it's going to be active. You understand? It's going to be active. So now, now the clock starts, guys. It's, 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 it's money time. It's game time, man. No playing around. You understand? Like we're going to play the games of Simon Says in this boot, uh, in this boot camp. Okay? And we're going to see what happens and who comes out on top. You understand what I'm talking about? The goal is for you to come out a new man or a new woman. Now, let me clarify that. I don't support sex changes. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I'm talking about if you're a man, I want you to come out a new man. If you're a woman, I want you to come out a new woman. It's a shame I got to go ahead and go into detail on that, but this is 2023. Um, and some people might have took that like, oh, damn, this dude want me to get a sec? No, no, no. We don't do all that. I'm old school. Biblically old school, if you get what I'm talking about. Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed old school, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we ain't going to get too deep into that stuff. Um, I appreciate you guys attending both live streams today. I know it was a little bit out of nowhere, the one that we did earlier, but I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys for showing up. Uh, tomorrow, it might not be a live stream on this channel, unless I'm just, like, filled with freaking energy, but it might not be because from 8 to around 3, we're going to be live on Zoom, the boot camp people. And that's not going to be like on YouTube or anything. That's private. That's the boot camp people they pay. Okay. Um, for further information, if you actually want to get in the boot camp, it is still today, meaning the last day. That's 2,500. And you can just text boot camp to 314 500 one more time, 314-500-5528. That is the Asset Empire Bootcamp. You can text that number there before midnight tonight, and we will go ahead and honor your late admission. If not, after that, then you just save your ducats and you get in the, uh, the master course for Asset Empire, which is only 2K. Okay, and you'll still have access to pretty much everything, only you won't be live with us. Okay, all right, love you guys.